वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फाइव डैश नाइनटीन सो स्टेटमेंट इज द शाफ्ट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सॉलिड एटी मिलीमीटर डायमीटर रॉड सेगमेंट ए बी एंड सी डी एंड ट्यूबुलर सेगमेंट बी सी विच हैज़ एन आउटर डायमीटर ऑफ हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर एंड इनर डायमीटर ऑफ एटी मिलीमीटर इफ मटीरियल हैज़ एन अलावेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज सेवेंटी फाइव मेगा पासकल डिटरमाइन मैक्सिमम अलावेबल टॉक दैट कैन बी अप्लाई टू द शॉफ्ट सो दिस शॉफ्ट सी डी एंड डी सी दे आर सॉलिड शॉफ्ट हैविंग डायमीटर एटी मिलीमीटर वाइल दिस इज ट्यूबुलर सेक्शन दैट इज बी सी हैविंग आउटर डायमीटर हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर एंड एटी डाई इनर डायमीटर एटी मिलीमीटर अलावेबल स्ट्रेस इज सेवेंटी फाइव मेगा पासकल ऑल द गिवन डेटा हैज बीन रिटर्न ओवर हेयर सो वी हैव टू फाइंड मैक्सिमम अलावेबल टार्क दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड ऑन दिस सिस्टम so let's start with the solution the first step is that we will find the uh, internal loading so internal loading for internal loading we will cut first this section cd so if i draw the free body diagram of this like so this is shaft cd clear and what if i have a uh, a torque that is mentioned over here is like t clear this is this is point d this is c so definitely we will have a reaction torque in order to count balance it and it will be in clockwise direction so this t c d will be equal to this t so this is for segment for segment c d now we will move toward for segment bc for segment bc so what if i cut it over here and if i draw the free body diagram so it will be like somewhat like this this will be there are flanges clear and then we will have a hollow pipe or hollow segment so you have to draw it like this so at this end we have a torque t clear this is point d this is point c and this is point b so we will having a counter torque that is tbc and this tbc again will be equal to t in order to keep it in equilibrium now from this internal loading and from this torque we will uh, we will find the uh, required torque so as we as given that maximum allowable sharing stress is 75 mega pascal so for segment for segment cd this allowable sharing stress is equal to torque cd into uh, c which is the maximum radius divided by jcd so torque is tcd is t which we will find clear and uh, c for this is 0. this diameter is 80 mm so radius will be 40 mm so 40 divided by 1000 will be equal to 0.04 divide by j j is pi by 2 c power 4 so c is 0.04 power 4 okay and allowable sharing stress is given as 75 mega pascal so 75 into 10 to the power 6 is equal to t into 0.04 and when you solve this term it will be equal to you know, 1.28 into 10 to the power minus 6 multiply by pi so from here when you solve this you will get torque and this torque will be equal to 7.54 kilonewton into meter so this is 
this is the torque that can be applied on segment CD. Now for segment BC, again we know that allowable stress is given is equal to TBC into C divided by J of BC. So TBC is again equal to T. C is outer diameter and outer diameter is given as we have outer diameter is 100 millimeter so this will be 50 and 50 in meter will be equal to 0 0.05 divide by j which is equal to pi by 2 c outer which is 0 0.054 minus c inner and c inner is 0 0.04 power 4 because inner diameter is given as 80 millimeter so radius will be 40 millimeter so and that is equal to tie allowable tie allowable is 10 75 into 10 to the power 6 so when you solve this you will get torque applied is equal to 8694.36 newton meter and this will be equal to 8.69 kilo newton into meter now this is the torque that can be applied on this hollow section so we have to apply it one torque so we will choose the smallest one why because if we choose because if we choose this one and we will put it in this equation clear so it will enhance the allowable sharing stress and if we choose this it is also satisfying this condition and if we put it in this equation clear so it will be less than the tau allowable so we will choose hence applied torque is applied torque is 7.54 kilo newton into meter so this was all about problem 5.19 i hope you have enjoyed this video again if you are uh, new to my channel then uh, subscribe it so that you can get the solution of uh, these problems and uh, if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching